Hello everyone and welcome back. If you have ever struggled with rolling out dough or getting those rotis just right, stick around because this super useful gadget might be the solution you have been looking for. Today's video is all about our personal review on the Libra roti maker and this is not a sponsored video. So please keep watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our community. Now let's get started. We ordered this from Amazon for Rs. 2399. Alright, here is the roti maker. It's surprisingly compact but feels solid and well built. The design is sleek and modern with a stainless steel finish that should blend nicely with most kitchen appliances. The Libra roti maker features a non-stick cooking surface which is crucial for easy cleanup and consistent cooking. Okay, now for the roti maker, the most important point is the dough consistency. Libra recommends 1 is to 2 ratio for the atta and water. That is, for 2 cups atta, we need to add 1 cup water. So to make the dough kneading process easier, I am using our bread and atta maker for the dough kneading task. The dough is ready and I am setting it to rest for half an hour. We want the dough to be soft but not too sticky. The manual suggests rolling the dough into small balls. Okay, let's put this roti maker to the test. To start, we need to preheat the device. Once we switch on the roti maker, this red light will turn on. It typically takes a few minutes to heat up. And once done, this green light will turn on. Once the roti maker is preheated, it's time to cook. Place a dough ball in the center of the cooking surface. Close the lid and let the roti maker do its magic. The non-stick coating helps prevent the dough from sticking which is great because it means less mess and hassle. The cooking time is typically around 1 to 2 minutes depending on the thickness of the dough. Now we will flip the roti and wait for some time for the bubbles to show up. Once we see the bubbles, we need to close the lid and as you can see after a few seconds the roti puffs up. Now let's check how our roti has turned out. Look at that, it's golden brown with a nice even texture. It took couple of failed attempts for me to practice and get the rotis puff up. When we press the lid too hard, the roti tear off and when we don't give enough pressure, the roti ends up turning too thick. So it takes some time and practice to get those rotis puff up fine. Overall, I am really impressed with the Libra Roti Maker. It's efficient, easy to use and delivers excellent results. If you are someone who loves fresh, homemade rotis but dreads the effort involved, this gadget could be a fantastic addition to your kitchen. Also, the non-stick coating is a lifesaver when it comes to cleanup. It prevents the dough from sticking and makes it super easy to wipe down after use. Lastly, the sleek, compact design means it doesn't take up much counter space and it will fit right in with your kitchen appliances. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you might have. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. I'll see you soon with the next video. You guys stay safe and stay happy. Bye.